Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Your Tech Today. So in this video, as you can see, I have a window over here in my apartment and I think it's about 9 feet wide, I'm not really sure. But the problem is that as it's a rented apartment, I cannot put uh, or I cannot uh, drill any holes into the wall and I want to really put a curtain because there's a lot of light coming during the daytime over here and these blinds don't really work that well. So as I cannot drill any holes into the wall, so putting a traditional curtain rod will be quite difficult and I couldn't find any other thing but then I searched around and I found uh, some curtain rods which are for actually showers but I think they can also be used uh, in this situation as we have uh, flat walls on both sides but the problem was the you know the length that I required but I finally found a product which I'll show it to you and I found some blackout curtains also which I'll show you in this video and how do I install them and do they perform or not so I've not tried this before but uh, let's do it together and see whether it works or not so it's about 9 feet so I ordered the appropriate product which I will show you so I ordered it from Amazon Canada and uh, I'll leave the links in the description so this is a product from Interdesign as you can see Amazon has sent it and it's a huge <laughs> long package so it is 78 to 108 inches is what this can adjust to so I'll open it up and show it to you and these are the curtains which I ordered these are pretty cheap they were like for uh, ten dollars each I ordered two of them and they are 96 in length and 57 inches in width so we'll check these out I don't know the color which was the cheapest I ordered that and let's open this box up so inside the box this is what we get and so it's difficult to do it one handed so this is what you get so this is the curtain rod this is the twist uh, tension kind of curtain rod it's usually used in uh, bathrooms but we'll try to adjust it out here let's see what's written here so rust proof constant tension so that is it i'll open it up and try to install it and show it to you so guys this is the rod so i've opened the packaging and everything so this is at 78 inches right now so if your uh, shower curtain is little wider than this then you can use it like this without extending and if you want to extend it just pull it and this goes up to 108 inches so I would suggest don't extend it to, to, to the full maximum length because then it will be a little unstable. I think 106, 107 inches should be fine and you can just retract it back. So over here you can see some instructions, twist to lock, so you have to twist upwards to lock it and then put a press it in and then it, it will lock into place. I'll try to show it to you but they have a video on their website and you can search on YouTube also how to install this correctly and on the Amazon page also they have a video how to install it. So on the edges both sides it has this rubber kind of material so this will grip on your wall pretty nicely. Those of you who are wondering that can we use regular uh, curtains with this so you can use these grommet type of curtains and this fits perfectly in this. Just it. So you have to just adjust it and you know it should get the enough tension to it should get enough tension to hold your curtain. So the curtains are installed, it was pretty easy and as you can see the rod is installed. If there are any issues, I think I just have to raise it a little higher over there and uh, then it should be leveled. I've just done a rough uh, setup right now just to show it to you and it's taking the weight of these curtains pretty well. These curtains are from Kinlo, they were very cheap on Amazon and they had an offer, $5 off or something. So I have the LED light here, so you can see. You can barely see the phone's LED light 
and I think they should block out most of the light from the sun. So you get uh, these curtain ties, so you can, you know, put it on the side and tie it together. So it's this much, and the rod is supporting it well. So I'll probably have to get one more curtain from this brand to cover this whole window, which I'll do it later, and I'm sure the rod is going to take the weight of that. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it uh, helped you out. If it did, do like the video. Do subscribe to the channel. So I made this video because I was not finding any way to do this uh, at the cheapest price possible. So I did it and uh, I thought I will share it with everyone because I know a lot of people have this issue that uh, they live in uh, rented apartments and they can't do anything about putting curtain rods. So this is a pretty good way of doing it. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.